winner for the opposition, but what jubilation for the scorer and his team. Yeah, I mean, they kept on going and they got their reward in the end. It's a goal worth looking at again, isn't it? Well, the goal coming so late in this match, unexpectedly in many ways, and you can't see any way back now for the trailing team. Hello everyone, this is CG Novo 92 and today I'm bringing you a brand new episode of my League Squad Builder series. Now as you can probably tell by the title of the video and the name of that squad, that's of course going to be the word that I cannot say. So I'm just going to call it the Dutch League and we're going to start off with a goalkeeper with another name that I cannot say. This is real embarrassing. Anyway, it's a team of the season goalkeeper lads and I believe he plays for Ajax, I believe that's the badge. Six foot two, uh, save technique which doesn't really make any difference uh, as traditional. Very, very solid goalkeeper. I think his main attribute is definitely his pace. As you can see, there's 57 speed. He's very quick off his line. He's good. He's tall enough to make uh, good shot stopping saves. He's commanding from the corners and come pick them up. Don't have really any complaints and a big shout out to Zost as well. He's another uh, informed goalkeeper that I have on the bench. He was very, very good as well. The right back, Jama, I believe it's his second in form. He's six foot one and that's the reason why I really like him and I picked him away uh, over like this sort of pacey or silver in form. Uh, right back there is. I really like his pace and because he's a second in form, he has some ridiculous like, overpowered defensive stats. He's absolutely phenomenal. He's got great strength. His stand, his stand tackle, I should say, is phenomenal. His slide tackle is brilliant and of course, six foot one, you can't really complain in the right back areas. He cut out so many sweaty headers and they just he just seemed to block everything. And also, I've gone for 9.4k, which is absolutely a steal on my eyes. The next centre back is someone I completely uh, fell in love with as soon as I started to use. As you can see, he has my favourite uh, high defensive work rate in one of my centre backs. He's 67 rate, which is really, really low and so nowhere near explains how good he is. 43 games, he's played 6 goals. He's just so strong. He's, he's everything I really need in a centre back. Him and my defensive partner make an unbelievable partnership. He is 6 foot 2. His position uh, is uh, preferred foot is left. Uh, doesn't really matter. But he's great. He's got great aggression, great strength. Great. Uh, he's very, very good in the air. As you've seen, he scored 6 goals, which is really handy. And the next player, actually, only played 6 games, but I've actually went on to play another 10 games with this squad because I'm still enjoying it right now. He's 6 foot 1. He's, again, left foot. Uh, he doesn't have high defensive, but he is just so overpowered and really strong. I have Jorgensen, the, the Danish centre-back in there, and he just didn't have the strength. And as soon as I put this guy in, he just sort of made the perfect defence. This, this is the strongest defence I've used probably ever in FIFA 14. The left back is going to be the informed Van Anolt. I believe he's on loan from Chelsea and he is ridiculously fast. Probably one of the fastest players I've ever used. People would like to try and pace abuse doing the left hand side or something like that. He just, he just catches them with ease. He doesn't even really need to be running. Gone for 109k. I believe his prices went a lot higher now because of the team year card and sort of everyone's making squads. So the next player's actually going to be parking. I did have some epic clips of him actually out pushing David Louise, but I had to use the share factor in on the PlayStation to make this video and it takes so long to scroll through each video so I've not been able to pick that but you saw him at the start running slide tackles and that's all he seemed to do is just re he's got high high as you can see he's quick enough he just seems to be so strong I've actually put him as one of the best players in the squad that's a little spoiler I believe he is probably the best player in the squad for what he does and what he offers the rest of the team. The next player is going to be Tadic and this is the second in form. I actually just bought him. I had his other in form and he played for like 40, 36 games or something like that, whichever. And they need to picking him up from seven games. So if you look at his stats and you say, why is he not got like a uh, good assist or anything like that? It's ridiculous. Uh, the other one had 22 assist lads in 37 games, which is absolutely unbelievable. And that's all because he takes the corners. Phenomenal passer. The one thing I would say it really lets him down is he's shooting. He's very, very bad at shooting, but his passing is absolutely phenomenal. Next player is going to be Mayhard, and he's a football manager, absolute legend. He becomes like a five star player worth like 50 million in football manager 14. Spoiler. Anyway, and him. And the pay is the reason I like wanted to make one of these squads before they had the team in the season. So if you were looking at my squads before the team in the season card came out, I actually had already built this squad. And he is just absolutely brilliantly at, at everything, really. He's attacking is brilliant. He's got a great curl shot, as you see there. His power shot isn't that great, but his curl shot is absolutely phenomenal. Reminds me a lot of my, uh, uh, the, the Berbatov. And there's, I think that's another tackle. Uh, yeah, that's a good tackle from Mayer. I actually really like this goal. As you can see, they're great play down the left. He actually made that slide tackle, continues his run. Got enough, uh, got enough like aggression and sort of positional awareness to win the ball back, and his finishing is just perfect. You see here from some of the now uh, highlights up in here, I do like to pass a ball, with, uh, pass it about with the squad, and this, this is something that really stands out with the squad. You see Park heavily involved, Mayor again, doing some nice work. Actually, loses there, but Park just wins it. 
partly Shark is what I call him just because they seem to like win everything and here's go slides the ball into Mayer and of course finishes I really like that goal and I'm sorry that the clip was a pretty uh, it was actually really long but I think that just shows you how good this squad actually is <laughs> and one of the reasons I put it in was just to show you how good Park is they just seem to still do that slide tackle every time I cannot explain how good Park is in the CDM uh, but anyway he scored 10 goals in 43 games which is a very very good turnaround for a centre uh, mid he only cost me like 14k next man is going to be just the, the guy who just scores headers <laughs> this guy is probably the best header of the ball and I'm even saying he's probably better than Pizzini header in the ball he just seemed to score like every time I had a corner like literally every time you'll see I, put, I think I only put three headed goals or three corners because the video would have been so long I had so many like, this is just ridiculous every corner I seem to score at least one every game uh, I'd score at least one corner with him in the straight, uh, centre forward position. He just seemed to be absolutely perfect. He's got biggest A raids uh, on the actual card, but in game he's just so strong. He's powerful. He's j you'll see by the stats and everything that comes up. I think he's absolutely bright. I do have a team this season striker that I cannot say his name. I think it's like Finn something a long ass name. Uh, and I didn't actually play him that much. I only played him like fifteen times because I've just loved having Pele. Having the ability to score from like. A corner a game is just such an advantage as you see he's played 38 games and scored 30 goals and 14 assists and i believe he only has like a 30 uh, more games than goals because i was bringing him on as a sub because i was just really didn't like the team season striker so i was bringing him in a lot so i probably say he's probably like 30 for 30 if i was going to say because he did average a goal a game whenever i played him next man is going to be the finisher and i call him that because he just seems to be in the right place at the right time whenever i need him in a tight game he's got fantastic ball control his pace is ridiculous i think he's like 93 pace with the hunter card so that's like 96 or something like that or maybe it's 96 and with the hunters 99 anyway he's just so fast got great ball control and his finishing is absolutely pitch perfect you'll see he doesn't score many goals because he's like more of the assist maker but whenever i need him to score as you saw in the very first goal of this squad uh, in this this video you'll see it's an absolutely beautiful goal uh 14 goals and 43 games was a very healthy turnaround i think there was 16 assists i can't really see it's still rendering and the player that probably most of you are all here this season, that's team of the year, uh, or team of the season, I should say, uh, Depay, and he's absolutely phenomenal. Another player that gets like 5 star rated in Football Manager 14. Anyway, here's another <laughs> uh, pass and build up squad with this. I think it starts right from Yamak, yeah, it does. Uh, right from the right back, cuts it down to Depay. Depay just takes a touch. I, I like this bit, he actually holds off Depay, uh, David Louise, which is very difficult. And he actually just finishes in the top bag. He's absolutely so overpowered. Uh, but I would say because of his price, I'd, I'd just like go for the original version. Because the original version is very good. It just doesn't have as, as good as a shot as his team in the season card. That's the one thing I would say it was definitely boosted was just his shooting. His pace and everything still feels the same. His strength still feels the same, etc. But it's just his shot, which is 100 times better. And here's another example of his strength. I think he's got 85 strength or something like that. So for 85 strength for a winger that's got 90 pace. And I think it's like 92 shot power and 92 long shots. Something like that. 92 free kicks. He's definitely a game changer. You can just give it to him and he'll hold it off. Run down and you can just blast him in the top of the net. I really like that goal. Just because he holds off the finish. Uh, holds off the defender and finishes well. Here's another one with... <laughs> Park heavily involved again to the right back again. Uh, Nazi pass to uh, back to the right back. Slips over to Park. Uh, Mayer, I think everyone gets involved in this goal. Tadic to Pele. It's beautifully, beautifully played over to Depay. Depay just cuts inside. Just sort of the goal wasn't that spectacular as in the finish, but I, think, I just like the build up of the squad. If I can, if I can just uh, explain to you how good the squad is. You just have to try it to believe it. You'll see like it's not a BPL score or something like that, so maybe you'll not want to use it, but you definitely have to. The possession, you can play with this ball, or like a quick counter attack. This formation is absolutely perfect. I've, I wouldn't really play another formation. I'd really, really just like this one. There's Jorgensen and Zost, as previously mentioned. 37 games played for Jorgensen. The only reason I didn't like him is because he's not as strong as my centre-back I have in there. But he does have to have high defensive uh, work rate and 6 foot 2. So he's a very good... Good uh, rotational player. Maybe if you're going to play three at the back, I'd play three of them with a relic in the centre back uh, of the centre of the centre back three. And there's the team of season striker. You see, he only scored five goals from 15 games, and he actually does have 99 finishing. 
but he just doesn't seem to finish. I don't. I think it's because of the centre forward role. If you're playing him in more of a, like an ST type of role, I'm pretty sure he'd bang in a lot of more goals because he's really, really good. But just for the centre forward role, it's more about like sort of the headers or something like that, and that's definitely a pale. There's another guy who's like heavily overrated in FIFA on my team. It, well, I'd say overrated. It's decent, but Nazari can you just do everything better with Naz. And of course, this is a legend that is Pizzini. So there you go. Here's the best players with honourable mentions, all that goodness. Park and Pele, I'd say, was the best players. The only reason I didn't say DP was. And that's because of how much Arts have paid for him. Uh, just because he's like vet for that kind, I would expect like a Ronaldo type player. But he is good, but he's not really Ronaldo level. But I've got to give the squad a 10 out of 10. Absolutely love that it. it's got everything pace, power, skill, strength, anything you need. The squad definitely has it. Try and buy the squad, lads. And if you can afford everyone else, go ahead and just pick up the normal edition of DP. And I'll not be that different. You just won't score that many long shot beasts. Anyway, lads, this has been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching. And bye bye.